Everybody's got a story, and today on The Express, we're the ones to tell it. On today's show, Shine Jewels in Fort Langley. We only order about five to ten of each item, so you're very unique to what you're wearing. And when you see the athleticism of the kids come out, it's uh, it's really inspiring. See the Sky Broncos football. I've always liked it in my life, and it's in my blood. The climb is uh, five days of climbing up Mount Kilimanjaro. The high hopes of North Van Sandra Wilson. You're very passionate about meat. Where did that come from? Pit Meadows Hopcot Premium Meats. Why don't we start caring more about what we're fueling our bodies with? See that and more local expression. Are we going to change the world? No. Can we change our little communities? Yes, I think we can. Welcome to The Express. I'm Johanna Ward at the Lee Square Community Arts Village in Poco. Now this neighborhood is known for its great lifestyle and its artsy vibe. And it's not the only place. So is Fort Langley. In fact, thanks to some of the businesses like Shine that are moving out there, it's starting to be called the Yale Town of the Valley. This looks like a trendy boutique in Yale Town. Until... Well, we're right by the railroad tracks here in Fort Langley. In fact, the train is good for business. Every time the train goes by and you're in the store, you get 10% off all your purchases. Shine has been in business since July, and owner Marcia Duncan says she wants to give her boutique a big city feel with small town prices. Nothing retails over $40. That's a huge draw for me, the under 40, and I'm looking around and I'm not seeing anything really over 20. And when it comes to inventory, Marcia keeps that small too. We only order about five to 10 of each item, so you're very unique to what you're wearing. Whoa. Oh, I love that one. Summer loves the tiaras. <laughs> so that's something that we were looking at, it's so much fun. <laughs> Lots of fall trends to talk about. Please tell me tiaras are in this fall. They're in, they're in. You can wear them anytime. <laughs> Big chunky ring, which I love. I've got one on right here. They're in for this fall? They're in. You have that brown outfit and you have nothing to wear with it. You put gold with it. It's really come back. This to me says it's very rock star kind of ask. The cuffs have been really popular. Anything with the leather has been really popular. Big is, is definitely in this fall. Yeah. Go big with your jewelry. Go big with your jewelry. Go big or go home. There you go. <laughs> Marcia says sales are good at her new store, proving that in business, as in fashion, it usually pays off to take a risk. Step out a bit. Step out a bit. Wear that big cocktail ring with the black dress. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Fort Langley for the Express. Next up for Marcia, private parties in the store. You can get your friends together for some after-hours shopping, drinks, boas, and of course, tiaras. Now we've got a whole different kind of shine with our next story. In fact, in this case, I think we'd call it a glow as we meet a local woman who's climbing Mount Kilimanjaro all to help find a cure for Alzheimer's. For Sandra Wilson and her family, this was the trip of a lifetime. Oh, well, this just brings back great memories of, um, of our family trip to Peru in 2009. Oh, I think the highlight was definitely our Lars Valley trek. There was just the three of us with a guide, and we only saw one other group the, the entire three, three days and um, just got into some really remote country. Nowadays, the North Vancouver resident spends much of her time exploring trails closer to home. It's the freedom of being surrounded by pristine wilderness she loves. It's an amazing feeling. You just feel like you're miles so far away from, from the hustle and the bustle. Just five years ago, Sandra was owner of Robbie's Shoes, a brand of soft-sold baby shoes available in over 70 countries. But she sold that business in 2006 for $30 million. And she's become a career trekker ever since. Now I'm extremely fortunate that I've been able to travel I've done some great trips to Bhutan and Morocco, mountain biking. I've taken on some big challenges. 
Next week, Sandra's taking on her biggest challenge thus far, climbing Africa's tallest peak, Mount Kilimanjaro. Well, the climb is uh, five days of climbing up Mount Kilimanjaro to the peak, which is 19,340 feet, and, uh, and then two days coming down. So we'll be on the mountain a total of seven days uh, with a group of porters and guides uh, uh, coming along with us. It's called the Ascent for Alzheimer's, a fundraising event to raise $10,000 to go toward research and support programs. For Sandra, whose father-in-law suffered from Alzheimer's, the trek is deeply personal. I'm expecting it'll probably be somewhat emotional at the top. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing that with, uh, I hope, everybody on the team, because I'm sure it'll be a very emotional experience for all of us. Well, I'm really pr proud of what she's uh, going to do. And uh, I think it's uh, great. Uh, our family has experienced uh, some effects of Alzheimer's, so we're really pleased that she's going to do this for Alzheimer's. The trip should quench her thirst for adventure for a little while, or at least until the big one comes calling. <laughs> well, I don't think I'll be climbing Everest, but I would love to go to Everest Base Camp and do some trekking in Nepal. I'm Tim Chung in North Vancouver for The Express. You can support Sandra and the cause by donating online. You're watching The Express and we've got more stories that will make you feel good about living in BC coming up. Sit, hey. After the break, get past them, get rid of football me. fun. I walk in here and it's like a kid in a candy store with, uh, from a coaching perspective. They used the, the end of uh, the cactus to put all those little dots. It's a lot of work. Art appreciation. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.